Ciao ragazzi, benvenuti in questo video. Welcome everyone, hope you're all doing very well tonight. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at a classic Italian fragrance that came out in 1984, and it is simply called Enrico Caveri Porom. So this fragrance is classed as an aromatic fougere, came out in 1984, and the perfumer for this fragrance is sadly unknown. I don't know who made this fragrance, but, uh, <sighs> wow, I just love this fragrance. I cannot wait to review it. Here we go. Another 80s aromatic. I cannot get enough of them at the moment, guys. I really can't. Let's get into the introduction. The accords for this fragrance are aromatic, woody, fresh, spicy, lavender, soft, spicy, powdery, amber, leather, warm, spicy, and herbal. And I'm also going to add earthy as an accord too. It isn't there originally, but I'm going to add it there because I get a really earthy accord out of this fragrance. So, first impression of the fragrance. Again, this is an, ama this is an amazing 80 scent, hence why I'm reviewing it on my channel. I only like to review fragrances that I particularly like. I don't like to review fragrances that I don't like. It's kind of pointless that way. It's a scent that to me is very classy. It is mature, it's green, it's earthy. That it just, to, in, in my opinion, it really does sit nicely in my collection amongst the other classic fougères that I have. I mean, just the way the bottle looks, you guys will see another video of course, the way the bottle looks is just absolutely beautiful. I really like the dark green I think it's dark green. Oh no, it's like a blue actually. It's more like a more like a turquoise blue, but it's quite dark. We get ridges in the glass, which gives it like a classic look. We get Enrico Caveri in what looks like to me like a silver sticker, but it's really stuck on the bottle quite well. We get pour rum underneath and we get eau de toilette. And we also get a nice little feature on top of the cap as well, which says Enrico Caveri in kind of like a blue plastic stamp on the cap which looks really cool in all fairness so if you're into bottle designs like classic bottle designs this really is just an awesome bottle to look at i even have the box here guys it is blue it, it kind of looks like an ocean blue color it's really nice kind of reminds me of the vintage davidoff cool water box a little bit get Enrico Gaveri and Silva and we get just poor arm or the toilet and what what you know just all the usual stuff now quickly just in case you guys have never heard of this house before Enrico Gaveri uh, was an Italian designer and the company of Enrico Gaveri have actually released quite a lot of collections for women men and even children in 1981 the company added jeans to their fashion line in 1982 the first fragrance called Palettes which was released which was which actually meant uh, sequins. That was kind of like a floral amber scent, I believe. Uh, this one followed uh, th three years later in 1984. And then in 1987, there was a poor femme version, which uh, I believe was a floral amber scent again. So, yeah, the company have had their fair share in fragrances. And I believe they have newer fragrances nowadays as well as their classics. They're more of a classic brand, though. They get associated a lot with this fragrance this is again well it is this their signature men's fragrance so it is their most famous from the company there is a new uh, I guess you could say flanker for this but I haven't smelled the flanker so that's all I'm gonna say so yeah I just thought I'd quickly throw that in just in case you guys wanted to know a little bit more about the company I'm gonna spray some on my hand here we go I used to slow it down when I used to spray it, but I've uh, decided not to do that anymore, guys. <laughs> so whilst this is drying down on my skin, I'm really going to give it time to develop. But for those people who do like to smell straight away, just know that this fragrance does have an alcohol aroma to it. You just really need to give it like 10-15 10, 10 15 seconds. There we go. Now the smell is starting to come. Now, this fragrance, in one word... If I had to give this fragrance one word, I would say that 
it was stunning, in all fairness. This is really quite a stunning scent. For it being cheap, and for it being out for years, and for it to be the price it was when I paid for it at the time, I think it was £25 when I paid for it, like, a year and a half ago. <sighs> it's amazing. I need to really wear more of this. The opening for this is green. It's all about the greens, and it's very woody. And... <sighs> You do sense that the bergamot, the tarragon, and the nutmeg are doing this little trio dance. And what I get is this powdery, earthy, spicy, warm, charismatic, Italian type of blend. But there is also, there is also that very classic lavender there as well, which really keeps this fragrance a fougere and keeps it powdery and just... It's just beautiful. Really, really nice. So, the scent when it's first sprayed, in my opinion, is really gorgeous. At least to me. Uh, it's something that I can re really easily admire when it comes to smelling a fragrance. Uh, it's just really a scent up my street, in all fairness. It really is. So, for example, if I was having a day where I was feeling a bit under the weather and I was a bit sad, this would be the type of fragrance that I would go for to... You know, try and perk me up, or at least try and smell better. <laughs> now, I do seem to really strictly be falling in love with the note of patchouli, because every fragrance video that I've reviewed so far since I've returned to YouTube, um, I've reviewed fragrances that have had patchouli in them, and a lot of these fragrances I've, I have really liked. So maybe patchouli is a scent that I'm really starting to admire and really you know, prefer more than I used to, because in this, the patchouli is just <sighs> beautiful. And as the scent dries into your skin, the more the oak moss, the patchouli, the leather, the more this all just creates just the balance to the scent. It just creates this deep, sensual, woody fragrance. That's what it is. It's just beautiful, really beautiful. And, you know, I will be honest, I do get some of the citruses in the opening. That bergamot, you know, it isn't fleeting. It, you know, when you first spray the scent, you do get this bit of a citrus citrusiness. It's kind of lemon verbena. It does kind of smell like a lemon, but this fragrance, of course, doesn't feature lemon. All we get in the opening is that bergamot. So it's, it is more of just this zesty, dried citrus with, of course, those greens in the opening. It's just, mm, I really, really like it. And the dry down mainly consists of musk, lots of musk as well, lots of leather with a slight ambery, warm trail. That's really what the fragrance consists of in the dry down. So it's, it's quite a simple fragrance in all fairness, but the fragrance itself is really one to admire. If you're somebody who is classy, uh, I'm just going to say it, if you, if you are somebody who is older than me, for example, if you're someone in their 40s, 50s, maybe even 60s, perfect fragrance for you because, of, you know, the 80s, 70s, 80s, that was your era, you know, uh, so that it would fit more for you. But the fact that, you know, I am 28 and I have so many of these type of fragrances in my collection because I really love them. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There was no one in my family who also used to collect fragrances. So there's, it's not like anything's been passed down from my previous family members to me or anything. You know, it's it's weird. I don't know what it is, guys. The reason I love these classic fragrances is really unknown to me also. But uh, the fact is that they smell so good and that's that's all I care about. The fact they smell good, it's going to make me review them and really want to m really know more about them. So, so yeah... Uh, that's all I'm really going to say about the fragrance. It's just, it's a really cool fragrance that, in my opinion, is a bit of a time capsule. It, uh, you know, a lot of people would agree that this doesn't really work in today's fashion world, if you like. A little bit like the Santos de Cartier when I reviewed that one. This is a little bit like that too, how a lot of people might call this an old manish type of fragrance to me. To me, this is a very well-blended aromatic fragrance, aromatic fougere fragrance that I just love. I kind of believe that this has just been at the back of my wardrobe. I haven't 
it's really, I, it's almost like I've forgotten about it. Which is unlike me, in all fairness. I, I cannot believe I've let myself become that type of person to, to forget about these gems that I've bought from many, many years ago. I need to really wear this more. It's just stunning stuff. Absolutely love it. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm really going to talk about in terms of the fragrance. But let's talk um, a little bit about something different now. That's something that I'm going to do in my videos from now on where we talk about similar fragrances. Here we go. Now, similar fragrances. Well, there is, uh, in my opinion, Dracon Noir by Guy La Roche. Yep, it's there. The comparison is there quite strongly. I think it's the lavender that is very similar in this as it is in Dracar. And another comparison that I think really, really strongly of is uh, Bowling Green by Jeffrey Bean. Because that one is a... That, well, that one is more of citrus... Uh, it's more of a citrus aromatic. Um, you get the citrus is more of that one, the vetiver, and the, of course the oak moss. This has, of course, oak moss in it, but it's it's there. It still is quite strong, but it, I prefer the oak moss in uh, Bowling Green, in all fairness. But this does smell similar in that. And another one that I want to mention as well is Bulgart Signature, Jacques Bulgart Signature. That one is more of a leather oak moss type of scent. Still, again aromatics. Anyway guys, that has been my review <laughs> for Enrico Caveri Porom, a beautiful, beautiful Italian fragrance that you guys should really check out. It's really, really inexpensive online. It's just a lovely blend. Very classy. If you are a fan of Dracar Noir and you like that scent really much, then you might not like the fact that it doesn't project that much anymore because in my opinion, I'm one of those people I own Jack, uh, you know, I do own Dracar Noir, it's somewhere, I'm just trying to look for it. Yeah, I can't find it. If you like that fragrance, you will like this. I'm a big believer of that. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this review, it really means a lot. If you are a fan of classic fragrances, then stay tuned to my channel because I've got so many other cool classic fragrances in my collection that I need to review and should have reviewed years ago, and the fact that I haven't is something that I am starting to slowly regret, which is why I'm deciding to get these fragrances out for you guys now so that you can check them out. So, yeah. Thanks so much for checking out this review for Enrico Caveri Porom from 1984. A great aromatic fragrance. Aromatic fougere. I always forget to say the fougere. Great fragrance that you guys must check out. Thanks so much for watching my review on it. Keep smelling good, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.